Right, everyone, it's been a while. I've been very, very busy with the family life. I've got a photo here of the three of us. Figured I'd uh, edit this and just have a small talk with all of you. It's been a long, long time. Um, the first thing I want to do is I want to go back to the filmic. It's been a very long time. Like I said, I'm busy with work, with family. I'm actually remodeling, still building the new studio which I don't have a lot of time for because she and she still goes to bed. So when they are in bed, I cannot work there because that would wake them up. Let's give this a little bit more contrast and let's change the exposure as well by dragging it out. So that's usually the first few things that you do. So change the contrast, the exposure, and we're going to change the saturation as well. We can desaturate certain colors or, and give other colors more saturation or we can do it in general. And if you don't know which module to use, all you need to do is find a saturation module. So that's the Velvia, the color contrast, the color brightness saturation, the filmic, the color balance and the color balance. In this case, let's use this one and the reason why I'm going to use this one rather than the color balance is because I'm actually not going to change anything in the tints for instance I'm not going to give this an orange and teal look I'm just going to edit this as is and I think that the color balance RGB is much better for that we could increase the contrast here as well but we already done it quite a few with the filmic so let's work on the different things first and then see how that goes now with this color balance RGB, what you can do is you can either do everything. So let me drag it out. Let me drag it to the other side. So it's very desaturated. Uh, same thing goes for the global saturation. You can change the entire image. So this is actually a way to make it black and white as well, which I like a lot. But if I would keep this black and white, I would add a little bit more contrast just to make them pop a little bit better. And the same goes for the brilliance grading so we can make everything a lot lighter or we can make everything very very black so i want to emphasize the darker colors more than i want to emphasize the light colors so rather than changing the global saturation which will do everything i'm going to increase the saturation of the shadows and i'm going to increase the saturation of the midtones i'm going to increase the saturation of the midtones less and then let's see it before and let's see an after so we can see that the shirt is becoming more blue the same goes for this jumpsuit or whatever it's called for my dollar it's a lot more bluish now so is everything else but we're not going to increase the contrast of the highlights or decrease it you could decrease it if you want a certain specific look in that case i would bump up the shadows and the midtones all the way to give it this very artistic look actually this as well, so like I said, increase the shadows and the midtones a little bit less. So another reason why I haven't been very active with Darktable is I have to admit that I became very, very annoyed when they kicked me off their website as one of the sources for Darktable tutorials. I've made over a hundred videos. I've given so much advice. I've answered so many questions, uh, but for some reason that made me feel like I wasn't part of the dark table community anymore or it, that they didn't want me included it didn't feel good at all and i'm still annoyed by it and that demotivated me to uh, make these videos about dark table i'm not sure why it is someone said it's because i haven't been creating a lot of videos on dark table lately because i've been very quiet but then again you can't deny the library that i already have so um i found that a little bit childish to be honest but uh whatever we're still missing some colors because the image is still a little bit dull. So I'm going to activate the Velvia module and that will make everything pop a little bit better. But I am going to decrease this area and the blues in this area because for some reason it kind of draws the attention to it. So let's use the color modules and let's go to the color zones and then let's find our color here. So it's somewhere up there, but I don't want to change the hue. I want to change the saturation actually use an area so here's the area that we need to desaturate so i'm just going to drag these points down off the blues and it seems a bit silly but it works because look here's the before here's the after but now everything is being affected so i'm just going to create a mask i'm going to paint one 
increasing the brush by moving the mouse wheel button away from me and then holding shift and then pulling it towards me to create a better feathering or a bigger feather area. I'm just going to paint over this so that everything else will be left alone. Let's feather it and blur it. Let's see before and after much, much better. The emphasis is less on the sky and it's more on the people. We can do the same thing with the trees in the background. Uh, and for that case, I'm going to use a new instance. I'm going to select the area of the trees. So it's over there. And let's do edit by area and go to the saturation. And that will allow me to decrease a bigger area. You can also increase or decrease it by your mouse wheel button. And this needs a mask as well because everything is being affected now. So I'm just going to paint over these trees roughly. And now let's look at before, after. It just, it's very subtle, but it makes a difference because now the emphasis is more on us rather than the things in the background. And let's give it a little bit more contrast using the local contrast module. I'm going to activate that. I'm going to put this on 150%. Now we need a before and after. So we started at the Filmic RGB, take a snapshot. Select it, go back to the local contrast. And now we can see a before and after. So here's the before and then here is the after. And I'm very pleased with this result. So thank you for watching. I might make more of these in the future, but the main goal of this video or actually the main story behind this video is to show you that with just some little adjustments, you can make a great image. You don't have to make it fancy at all. It's all about memories. Take care, guys. See ya.